With the upcoming Edge 16, all major browsers have full support for CSS Grid. In its most basic form, it's like Flexbox in two dimensions instead of one, but Grid packs a lot more capabilities and will probably become one of the core tools every web developer should know. CSS Grid allows you to lay out your elements in a grid, similar to tables, but without the annoying table markup and all the weird special cases around tables. And it's inherently responsive, too. Grid is very powerful, too powerful to cover everything in a microtip, but in its most basic form, you start with display grid. You set up your grid by defining rows and columns using grid template rows and grid template columns. In this example, I only use fixed width and the special FR unit that distributes free space. But grid offers many tools to make the layout even more flexible. Once the grid is defined, children of the grid container will be laid out to occupy exactly one cell. If that's not what you want, you can assign areas that can span multiple rows and columns to some elements. The elements you don't place manually will be placed in the available cells. Isn't that handy? If you want to know more about grid, how to do responsive designs, and what else you can do, take a look at rachelandrewsgridbyexample.com. And that's grid for you. It's like the web of the 90s done right. Kinda. I don't know, whatever. See you next time. This is the subscribe button, and this is more supercharged. While you consider clicking those buttons, let me tell you a joke. So a man goes into a bar, and the bartender says, what can I get you? And the man says, well, I would like whiskey. And then, no wait, it's the other way around. <laughs>